Everybody thinks about different things. We all have different things in our mind, things we're trying to understand. But there is a commonality to how we come to build meaning around concepts and ideas. This is really getting at the core of what we do as scientists. It articulated the core way we think through problems, which we don't really teach or do consciously as much as we should as scientists. We're looking for the right solutions to really complex problems. System thinking provides the promise of doing that. I work on climate change models. I needed a sort of checklist rather than being kind of like a swirl of ideas here and there and there. I could anchor myself. Specifically, I look at what drives local policy to have more water efficient plans in communities. My current work measures water insecurity and food insecurity and how that impacts maternal and child health. I struggle with adapting what I know theoretically and technically to a broader population aspect or how it can really come into play with the political and economic systems in our world. What's that deeper level? What are those patterns? What are those ideas that we're tracking and managing? Information becomes meaning when we structure it with thinking. At the crux of what it means to be human is we're meaning makers. We have lots of words for meaning making. Sometimes we call it knowledge. Sometimes we call it uh, mental models, sometimes we just call it ideas. Those are all roughly the same thing. Communicating about things with other people is the process of communicating your own mental model about what's relevant, what's causal, what's connected, is it primary or secondary, what are the outcomes that are driven by all of those judgments. The way I'm using mental models is to try to bring local and indigenous knowledge into the scientific process. So to try to create a more democratic scientific process by demonstrating that indigenous knowledge and local knowledge is valuable. I'm really looking forward to applying the rules and stepping through them and getting a process down to think about the different relationships that exist between the Environmental Protection Agency and the scientists at Cornell versus other stakeholders within a global community. Once you start doing it and you start seeing the benefits, you can start incorporating it in many different aspects of your work. I literally now have changed the way I think. I always now go, well, what are the parts? What's, you know, what's the distinct piece? I did it before, but now there's the tool. If you see the holes in your thinking, which is actually the lack of your thinking, you can see what's keeping you ingrained in your prevailing mental model. It's really hard for people to trust that there are four things I do to understand and bring meaning to anything. I don't need anything other than that to go through the world and make more and more meaning for myself. It's really inspiring to think about DSRP as one of those enabling platforms to empower the next generation of thinkers and transition from where we are now into this emergent space. So I'm really positive about this.